And despite Governor Kemp and President Trump's differences of opinion, state orders allow gyms, salons, body art studios, and bowling alleys to reopen today. So in our poll, we want to know if you'll be heading to any of these places anytime soon. Head to our 13WMAZ app or online to vote. Chelsea Bimefor shows you what some local businesses look like their first day back in operation. Well, just because salons and gyms can start reopening up again today, some of them are still choosing not to, like this North Macon nail spa. Some owners that did reopen shop today say the rush of customers was not as large as they predicted. Handmade signs and window frames around town alert consumers that some of their favorite stores and restaurants are still closed during the COVID-19 outbreak. Others have remained open, with customers spaced out and lined up outside to get in, like at this Joanne Fabric store off Riverside Drive. Today is the first day they allowed us to open. Friday morning, state orders allowed salons and gyms like Fitness Extreme to open their doors for the first time in weeks. Owner Jim Aston says his location wasn't as packed as he thought it would be. And I really expected to see at least one or two cars in the parking lot, but mine was the first. But shortly thereafter, uh, we did have uh, members coming and we, we've had a good plug. The same goes for Linda Brambila, owner of the Merle Norman Salon and Spa off Bowman Road. We're trying really hard to make sure that our door handles are clean, our chairs are clean, everything is absolutely sanitized for every customer. It's the temporary new normal for these businesses, wearing masks, wiping down shared surfaces, and taking temperatures of staff and customers when possible. We want to make sure that once this is all over, we all are healthy and strong. According to Governor Kemp's orders, restaurants can begin dine-in services again on Monday with certain restrictions. Other places like concert venues and bars should remain closed until further notice. Reporting in Macon, Chelsea Bime for 13 WMAZ News. You can find the list of the state's 20 basic operation guidelines that businesses must follow on 13WMAZ.com.